Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty with no fair fight. We're trying to get this lovely fella to be interested in us and follow us a little bit around, which would be nice. Can you do that for us, sir? You know, just follow us enough so that I can get my hands on your stuff of the map of Umkas. Thank you, sir, very much. Have we already been here? No, we have not. Surprisingly, we have not. What is he selling? He's selling necromancers. I'm not a fan of necromancers. Yes, they can rise troops, which is extremely nice. And they can um, work well on cemeteries, which is nice as well. No question here. Uh. But in total, um, the necromancers make very bad morale. When you look at our pirates, our pay pirates are happy, but our fairies are unhappy. Why? Because we have undead in our group. See? Minus two to the presence. Some units take the presence of undead. Well, we don't care, oh, and some of them take them as... Um, we're really, really angry about that. And we should, of course, always be trying to keep our moral at high, as high as possible. Off to the boat we go. So we're boat people again. Let's look at this uh, island of Umkas. Umkas. First of all, we have just a look around. I see a uh, shrine of experience. There was another shrine of experience. There are polar bears and bears. I hate bears because bears are extremely fast things. These guys are dangerous, but they're not moving that fast normally. Please remember that not all creatures move at the same speed at all times. Some creatures might move really, really fast, even though they're moving slow at other pieces. So a beholder normally moves extremely fast, but there might be beholders that are not moving fast. Can, can we can we oh that would be absolutely hilarious if we could land on here somewhere can you do that for papa can you do that for papa please 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 no no not possible ah the shame all oh, the pain because then we could just get the map without fighting <laughs> that would be great um but that's not how it happens today as it seems Can we land in here? Billy. Can we land here? I mean, this is pretty close to the, to the shore. Honestly, come on. This is close to the shore. It's not getting any closer, is it? Oh, but there are a lot of bears. Oh, and there is this guy that hates us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But let me explain a little bit more about morale. So, morale is pretty important. He's un unhappy as well. Let's see why, because you can always click on it. So, they're undead in the presence. Humans take the undead, the presence of undead, or kingdom units, that is, because pirates are humans as well, and he's happy. Um, take the moral of undead, or the presence of undead, not as bad as the fairies do, or the elves do. So, you get minus 35% attack, minus 35% defense, and your critical hit chance is only 50%. Whereas when you go for our little pirate guy, he is happy because we have Jimmy Crowd in our team. He has 10% bonus attack, 10% bonus defense, and 20% above the normal chance of critical hit. So isn't that great? Um, so we're not be using fairies in the game. Um, but as you can see, having them in your reserve doesn't really decrease your moral... Um, in a point. We can go for learning, which is a good idea. We can go for trophies, which is a good idea, because we have nearly maxed that out. Uh, four more uh, green gems, and we have maxed our trophies. We're getting the maximum gold. And the question is what we do about the learning, because I really want to have that high. But you spent now 22 more green runes just to get 10% more experience. That's harsh. And we also want to have training, which gives 20% bonus to our dragon to learn. And Willy is really important to level him up, because he's our precious pet dragon. Mm -hmm. We really want to have him trained up. By the way, all these items here can be used to get your free units. However, um, they're not that strong. I mean, that's snakes, that's spiders, that's thorns, that's griffins, and that's dragonflies. Um, I think they're... More useful if you sell them, but that's up to you. That's totally up to you. Um, I think oh, we can 
can we land on here? No, we cannot. Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. Okay. Um, can we get a little bit closer? No, we cannot. Where is the bear going? I hope the bear goes away because if the bear stays there, with there is very little we can do. Um, ooh, my son has seen gold. Gold is pretty cool. But not here. The standard would be really cool because we need more leadership. Our leadership is still not enough to even have one single dragon. I mean, I'm not talking about having a million of those guys, but some would be really, really nice. Okay, this guy is not doing us a favor, as it one seems. One willy is enough willy. So, we're level four. That's okay with us. The bear is not here. That means we can talk to this fella. Oh, fuck. Billy. By the god who approaches. Away, ghost, go away. Only two days have passed since the last vision visited me. I'm not a vision, I'm a living person. My name is Emily. Human? A living person? Why? Indeed, you are. Ever since I've came to this godforsaken island in search of treasure, I have not seen a single living soul. 3,932 days it's been. Oh boy, this guy's old. Sometimes I get so lonely, begin to talk to the animals. The most terrible thing is they talk back. Impossible, right? Tell me the worst. I've gone mad, haven't I? Don't you want to take away from here? Go back? No, no. Who are you anyway? And go back where? I've already made my place myself here. Such a wonderful island. 615 steps in length and 594 and a half steps in white. But for me, it's home. I go root dub, I guess, whatever that is here, harvesting every four months and five days with my lovely animals. Back there, continuous taxes and law laws, ach. Take it easy, it's only a suggestion. Sorry, I've quite forgotten how to communicate with people. Funny how those skills got rusty. I was once called Ben Gan long ago. Nobody calls me anything anymore. Tell me about the island. Tis, this island is, en is enhanced. Enchanted. Sometimes it seems to me, all but very rarely, that all the animals here can speak. Actually, I think the island is really magical. Have you ever seen such large rudabags? They're as big as pumpkins. You mentioned some kind of treasures which you came for. Oh, treasures. That was a long time ago. I'm not hoping to find any treasure anymore. The map of the treasure belonged to my uncle. Careful Fred was his nickname. Oh... And what a strange man he was. He believed in a soul, not even a mirror. He never believed in a soul, not even a mirror. All his life he believed in. He had long, luxurious hair, although he was bald as his elbow. What? He believed he has long hair. He buried his treasure on the island, but each time he did it, he was instantly dissatisfied with the place he's chosen, convinced that it would be easy to find someone who make of his beloved treasure. He buried the same treasure ten times over, and each time he marked the map with a cross. That crazy mister. I practically digged up the whole island and looked under every bush and boulder. If you want the map, you're welcome to have it. Okay. We'll take the map. Uh, what are you selling? The fawn. Enchanted projectile. Minomini penalty. Fierce darkness. Oh boy. Forced spirit. Um, he can send people to dreams. That is pretty cool. He can do nightmare. And he can heal. And revive dead, but only plants. So that is not that useful. And he's got a dragon tooth. If you buy all five teeth, you can get a necklace. Uh, if you want that kind he's of stuff. coming. Oh, you're aggressive. Okay. We'll stop it here, and we'll see each other next time. Bye! Bye.